When I was around the age of 14, I saw a profile in a magazine about an immunologist who was doing exciting work. It was very interestingly framed in the context of this ongoing struggle that is constantly happening in the human body. That's when my imagination has been sparked um, for doing immunology, and that's when I decided to go on this path of eventually becoming an immunologist. We're working to create a platform that will help us understand gamma delta T cells and their targets, which so far have been poorly elucidated. This will hopefully be useful in diagnosing and treating cancer and in the future a whole host of other diseases. I'm establishing a platform using CRISPR-Cas9 technology and the tools developed in the Marsden lab to gamma delta T cells to do these large scale unbiased screens. We know that gamma delta T cells proliferate to large numbers during various infections such as malaria and their numbers correlate with a positive outcome in cancer patients. However, we don't know what targets are recognized by the cell type and how they're triggered. Understanding and knowing what targets trigger the cell type will allow us to more easily apply these cells in a therapeutic context. Personally, I've always been driven by the implications that our research can have for human health. And being able to ask these questions about gamma delta T cells is a real fulfillment of what I've always wanted to do in research and science. Bringing these new tools into the field, I think will allow us to really expand the kinds of questions that we can ask and answer. And the Michelson Prize allows us to pursue these high-risk questions that would push the field forward.